Nick Curios might not be one of the top richest tennis players in the world, but this guy is a millionaire and he's got a super hot girlfriend that everyone's talking about. So let's dive deep into Nick's luxurious lifestyle, who he really is with all that money in his pocket and his new girlfriend that's driving his fans crazy. Nick Curios is a family type of guy. So to really understand his luxurious lifestyle today, we need to rewind the tapes to his growing up as a child. Nick was born in Canberra, Australia to parents of different origins. His dad, Georgios Kyrgios, is Greek, while his mother, Norleyla Kyrgios, is a royal princess from Malaysia. So technically, Nick's a prince, and maybe that's why the luxurious lifestyle fits him so well. Another fun fact about Nick is that he started his career at a very young age. He was only 16 when he had his Grand Slam debut at the 2011 Australian Open. And it's really funny because just two years before that, he wasn't even focused on playing tennis. Just like everyone else, the better Nick got at playing tennis, the more money he got. Like, you need to understand that Nick Curios is one of three tennis players in the entire world to defeat the big three. Novak Djokovic... Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, the first time he played each of them. He won multiple ATP titles, so yes, Nick's made money. And right now, his net worth is estimated at a whopping $10 million. But not all that comes from his paycheck as a tennis player. Nick's also got some of the craziest endorsement deals in the sport. Nick has endorsement deals with several companies, including Yonex, Nike, Beats, and IMG. In 2014, after he defeated the then number one Rafael Nadal, sports equipment company Yonex offered Nick a deal six times bigger than his already laid down contract. Though the official numbers were not disclosed, Nick's reported to have made at least $200,000 from the deal. Nike, on the other hand, has been a part of Nick's career since 2011. He currently wears his custom-made Nike Air Zoom Vapor X. His deal with Beats by Dre also saw Nick get featured on the Play by the Rules commercial by the company and IMG manages his game on the court and his ATP tours. Now, we know how much this guy's worth, so where does all the money go? First off, the Bahamas. That's right, Nick Kyrgios has a house located in the Caribbean country off the coast of Florida. Now, there's not much detail about how many rooms this house contains, but what we do know is that it is a wooden-like interior decor with a magnificent pool right in front. What's a house in the Bahamas without a pool, right? Nick purchased this house back in 2016, and thanks to a video he posted on his Instagram, we could get a little view of what it looks like. Like I said at the beginning, Nick's a family guy, so it's only right that he has another house in his hometown, Canberra, Australia. According to reports, this house speaks luxury. The Turos Head Holiday Home was purchased by Nick at a staggering $583,000. The house is beautiful from every angle. It has three bathrooms, four bedrooms, a suite, and a games room where anyone can sleep. It also has a huge backyard with a covered deck. Outside, there is obviously some green space as well as a spacious parking area for at most two cars. And it's like a two for one special because Nick could live there while training at the Turos Head Tennis Club, which is around a 20 minute drive away. Since it's a family house, Nick has the opportunity to spend as much time with his family as he wants. And aside from his houses, another luxurious aspect of Nick's lifestyle is his car collection. It is one in a million. But don't take that for its literal meaning because his car collection is actually worth over half a million dollars. His collection comprises the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon worth $350,000 the Tesla Model X worth $160,000, and a Nissan R35 GTR worth $200,000. But in 2020, Nick's pretty little Dodge got crashed. Man, I can't even tell you which is more painful, the fact that that car got crashed or that it wasn't even Nick who was driving. According to local police officers in Canberra, Australia, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon was seen face smashed in a light pole around his family home. Filled with anger, Nick immediately took to his Instagram saying, 
I wake up this morning at, you know, 8.15 and drop off my missus at work like any normal person would, and I come to my car and it's obviously been broken into. Nothing thankfully to my car is broken. It's a $350,000 car, so I'd assume you'd have some respect. But you break into my car, you take all my clothes and basically some stuff, you take my wallet. I'll cancel my cards and whatever, but it's like, these are things I worked for. Show some effing respect. Like, if you're unhappy with your life, it's not my fault, I'm sorry. But Nick's anger wasn't just because of the car, it was because of how much he's done for his community, and still, he got treated that way. Nick's a millionaire and still gives back to the community. He does it so much so that he established a foundation in the area, the Nick Curios Foundation. He established this foundation after the 2020 bushfire crisis in Australia. He staged an exhibition tournament before the Australian Open, with the proceeds going to individuals who had lost their assets to the disaster. He also pledged to donate $200 for every ace he hit during the summer. Other tennis players from around the world joined in, raising about $4 million for the cause. Nick has gotten fined multiple times after being accused of tanking verbal abuse, and unsportsmanlike conduct by the media and by former tennis players, including John McEnroe. He lost sponsorship deals with companies like Bonds and Malaysian Airlines over controversies surrounding his in-game misdemeanor. Nick has received fines stacking up close to $300,000, with the biggest fine coming for five separate incidents of unsportsmanlike conduct at the 2019 Cincinnati Masters Tournament. This guy got served a fine of $113,000. That's more money than people make in a year. And it set an ATP record for the highest fine ever given to a player. Nick, Nick, Nick. He's a great guy if you ask me, but I somehow can't get over his new mysterious girlfriend that's got everyone talking. It's so hard to keep up with his love life. Just a while back, he was dating Croatian-Australian tennis player... Ila Tomijanovic. But the two were rumored to have broken up after his loss at Wimbledon in 2017. Then he started dating his last girlfriend, Chiara Pisari, but broke up with her in late 2021. Now there's a new one, and her name is Kostin Hatsi. Kostin Hatsi is a model, personal blogger, and social media influencer. The 21-year-old is also the founder of Casa Amor Interiors, a minimalist-style home decor firm. Hatsi recently received a bachelor's degree in psychological science and has amassed over 18,000 Instagram followers since dating Curios. What's also very interesting is how the duo met, according to Costine via an Instagram story. He was apparently scrolling through Insta and saw my business account post. He messaged my business account asking if the mirror was available for pickup and then messaged my personal account asking the same thing. It was a professional and friendly conversation, and then he came to pick up the mirror from Sydney. I had no idea this was all a plan. I literally thought he was buying a mirror. He picked up the mirror, and as he would say, it was love at first sight. Nick believes Costine is the right one, and he might be going down on the knee soon. So the big question is, is Costine truly the one, or is she going to be joining Nick's long list of exes? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.